Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. Today we're taking a look into Capricorn's week ahead for October 11th through the 17th. In this message, we're first going to tap into the energies with the wisdom of the Oracle deck here. Then we are going to get an overview message with the Psychic Tarot deck. Dig a little bit deeper with a traditional deck and I'll clarify as well as pull a few oracle cards. If that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Capricorn, what we can see for you guys for October 11th through the 17th. Please and thank you, Spirit. What does Capricorn need to see here for this upcoming week? We have change in the wind, serendipity, all that glitters, treasure island, and on the bottom we have co-create. Change in the wind, this is tower energy, okay, this is unseen changes. So a lot of times this is sudden changes or shocking events. Serendipity happy, joyous, happy, go lucky, just a fun, uplifting time. Okay. I feel like there is some changes that are occurring here, Capricorn. We have all that glitters here. This is, this talks about masks. Okay. I feel like there is masks coming off. That's what this reading is going to be tapping into. But I feel like this is a mask that you may have been holding on to for some time here, Capricorn. I feel like this is something, maybe this is how you were portraying yourself to the world or how you were portraying yourself to a certain person. And I feel like the masks are off. I'm hearing the masks are off, guys. You're headed in a right, the right direction. You're headed in a positive direction. Treasure Island talks about treasure, positivity, again, similar to serendipity, you know, headed in the right direction, headed in a positive direction. I feel here, Capricorn, that you may be overthinking this mask situation a little bit. If this was you revealing something to somebody, I feel like this isn't as bad as you portray it to be or as you think it's going to be okay so it needs to kind of be open because i feel like you're holding back because you're afraid of somebody's reaction well i feel like it's unfounded here so let's dig a little bit deeper into the energy for capricorn most important message here for Capricorn Spirit. What does Capricorn need to see October 11th through the 17th? Please and thank you. Please keep in mind, guys, that the message is on YouTube or general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's going to be something in the message. For information on energy cleanse kits, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here for free stuff, it's all linked below. And Capricorn, if you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here and it does help set your intentions for future messages. I 
I feel here, Capricorn, you have had your heart set on something. And I feel like maybe you had your heart set on this thing so badly that you would do anything to get it. So let's take a little bit uh, deeper look here. Capricorn, new beginning. This is full energy. Destiny, wheel of fortune. Nine of pentacles, material harvest. Four of cups, discontent and boredom. Two of Cups, Spiritual Union. Victory and success. Mm -hmm. Obstacles and challenges. We're going to get a little bit more information on, out, Capricorn. But what I see here is you've been trying to manifest. There's something that you've had your heart set on. And I feel like it's a, re it's a person. Okay, it's a relationship. There's been a lot of obstacles and challenges that you've faced. And I feel like there has been a lot of waiting as well. Five of Wands, Four of Cups. There's been a lot of waiting, a lot of contemplating, a lot of... When is this going to work? Things are going to start moving forward this week. There may be some travel involved here, but I feel like this this wheel is going to start turning here uh very soon capricorn things are going to start coming together um quite nicely actually so let's take a look and this may be shocking to you this what may bring you guys together is you guys revealing the parts of yourselves that you've been hiding from each other Two of Cups is here. This is Spiritual Union, Soulmate, Twin Flame Energy. Um, take it how it resonates. But there is mirroring going on here, Capricorn, between you and the person that you are channeling here. So let's see. Slow and steady wins the race. Four of Pentacles. Judgment. Wheel of Fortune. The Hierophant. The Magician. Nine of Wands. Ace of Cups. The High Priestess, Knight of Cups, Death Energy, Nine of Swords, Six of Swords, Two of Cups, Ten of Wands. I feel like you and this person both travel involved you and this person both want to come together but there's a lot of heavy energy surrounding this connection okay whether that's conflicted energy from past lovers conflicted energy from family members we have the nine of swords the six of swords and the ten of wands all surrounding the two of cups Five of Wands, right? All surrounding the Two of Cups over here. So this is a deep connection here, but there's a lot of heavy energy that's surrounding it. Something that you both are going to have to work through together if you're going to want this to come together. Also, a lot of withholding, whether this is you or the other person, you're being pressed to move forward. Okay, you're being called to push forward, but I still get the sense that there's some withholding or holding back in this connection. You, this person, both of you, we have the Wheel of Fortune confirming the wheel. You both want this to come together. Mm -hmm. But I also feel this energy of you both have been hurt in the past, so you both are kind of holding back from moving this forward. 
when you're manifesting from a place of this Capricorn, you are only going to you're only going to attract more of what you think about. Lot. It's a lot. It's a lot to think about. And I do feel like you are ruminating over this. For some of you, it may be helpful to get it out on a piece of paper. I also feel like there are some things that are hidden here. The High Priestess. Not everything is being revealed. I also will say it feels, even though there's not, there are two knights coming out, but I'm more taking a lot of people trying to oppose this union because of the cards surrounding the Two of Cups. So let's clarify the message. I do feel like you are, or this person, there's this internal transformation that you guys are going through. There may come a time, Capricorn, where you guys just don't care. If the connection is strong enough, it will come to that point. Clarify for Capricorn the message. Please end thank you. Four of Pentacles, Judgment. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, a Ten of Wands. Okay. Well. You and this person want an, a chance again to come back into each other's lives. But like I said, there's a lot of people that are opposing this. Maybe this is what's hidden. Maybe this is something that you know and you haven't revealed to this person that there's people against you guys coming together. I do see this offer happening. I feel like also being open and honest, if you know something this person doesn't, it will help move this forward by being open and honest about that. Knight of Cups in reverse. Somebody may be trying to control this situation, Capricorn, either from your side or this person's camp. Yeah, someone's trying to um, control the situation here a little bit. Magician with the Page of Cups. There are, kind of, there are kind of a lot of energies coming out here. A lot of people. I'm not saying that they're all like romantic people that this person is involved with or that you're involved with. This could also be a friends or family member that um, are kind of against you guys coming together for whatever reason. Ace of Cups with the High Priestess. Nine of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. So, you're being called to focus on what's best for you. Focus on your own stability. And I know this may be um, difficult for you to accept, but I feel like they're the people around you that are trying to keep you from this person or the people around them that are trying to keep them from this connection don't have either of your best interests at heart. You guys are needing to focus on what's best for you. And I feel like eventually that's going to happen. This union is going to come together, especially if this is a twin flame union. Um, nothing's going to be able to stop this. If you believe in those journeys, you will understand what I mean. If that message is meant for you, look before you leap. So the fool is always look before you leap. But when it's in the reverse, it's a bad sign for this new beginning. Okay, and I'll tell you why. 
you're going to need to, or this person is going to need to complete this transformation process, this dark night of the soul, death of ego, before this will come together. There's a specific lesson that's needing to be learned before this union will come together, okay? Now, this could be one lesson from your partner. This could be one lesson from each of you. All I know is there's some lessons that are needing to be learned here before this will come together. I do feel like communication is key. If you guys are already experiencing this connection and knowing that this is your person, then communicating is only going to help bring this closer, con this connection closer together. Two of Cups to the Ten of Wands. Holy tamale. Knight of Swords, Queen of Wands, Three of Wands, and Eight of Pentacles. This person may have been fighting with somebody else. Okay, maybe there was a person who uh, gave some of you misinformation about this person and you're kind of having to reevaluate, go over this a little bit, um, reevaluate this connection a little bit. It's almost as if somebody is trying to maybe control the person by giving people misinformation is the energy that I'm getting. So be aware of that. Trust, but verify I do feel like this connection will come together, especially if it's a twin flame, it's not going to matter what other people think, which very well could be for some of you, but I do see you and this person finding a way to come together at some point, slowly but surely, the Knight of Pentacles came out twice, guys, so slow and steady wins the race. Let's get a few cards out here for your advice, guidance moving forward. I am going to do an extended version to the reading. In the extended version, we'll dig a little bit deeper into the energies, Capricorn. We'll see if there's anything else you need to watch out for for this week. Anything that's hidden can come to the forefront. Look at the next steps, if the guidance is followed or where this is all headed. The outcome, if the guidance is followed. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. The links are all below, Capricorn. Also, guys, the second link down there is to subscribe to the Vimeo channel. For $11, you get access to all of the extended readings for all of the signs. So check that out. It's $11 a month. Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So there's a definite deep connection here, guys. There's a definite connection that um, you and this person both feel, okay? I also feel like there is a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety surrounding this, okay? If somebody is trying to control or if you feel like somebody is revealing or trying to give misinformation about this person, trust but verify, so ask. Something's going on in the energy that's causing a lot of stress. The Nine of Swords came out in every deck, okay? You're needing to kind of focus on the outcome. Eye on the prize here, Capricorn, and not listen to other people. I do feel like there is going to be something that has been hidden that's going to be revealed, okay? So whether this was you hiding something from this person or this person was hiding something from you, the masks are coming off, guys. Let's get a soul journey. If you have found that this message has been helpful, it's resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. 
all the love and support is very much appreciated it does help with the growth of the channel getting the message out there so thank you guys so much for that you are all amazing all right capricorn soul journey friendship i understand that a friend is in my life for a reason all humans are created from the same source but there are some souls that share a unique kinship friendship can be the most exciting and beautiful experience on earth but it can also be frustrating and heartbreaking understand that everyone in your path is here to teach you something it may be for a year or a lifetime. Together, you will teach each other various lessons of the heart, such as trust, love, loyalty, and admiration. The bonds of friendship are often stronger than those of family. You have formed a bridge of understanding between the two of you that has stood the test of time and of lifetimes. A true friend will illuminate your path instead of dim it. He or she will give advice with your best interests at heart. To be able to communicate at a soul level with another human being is the biggest treasure of the physical dimension. I'm definitely getting the energy here, Capricorn, of a soul tie, a soul mate. Okay. And understand if this is if this happens to be a twin flame journey, there's nothing anybody can say or do that's going to stop it from coming into union. So Capricorn, power thought card coming out for you. My life is a mirror. The people in my life are really mirrors of me. This affords me the opportunity to grow and change. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, Capricorn, that is the message I have coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.